If you want to really experience everything the current gen console from Sony can offer you, then only the newest and best PS5 games out there will do. Now, in the fourth year of the console, the library continues to expand with a massive range of games. Whether you like fast-paced shooters or just want a more family-friendly title, there's something for everyone out there. Welcome to Hotfix Gaming, I'm Joy. Today, we'll look at some of the best 2024 games that you can play on your PS5 right now. So, let's get started. Number 10. Pacific Drive If you don't like driving in real life, then you're probably not too excited right now about this game. However, like you, there are plenty of other players who've complained of the joys of driving in real life, but absolutely love this title. First of all, the traffic really isn't that bad. And secondly, if you do have to upgrade your car, well, at least you're not using real money for that, right? Both in story and gameplay terms, Pacific Drive is quite a novelty among car games. You're stuck in a mysterious section of the Pacific Northwest called the Olympic Exclusion Zone, OEZ. This zone has been closed off for years due to some unusual activity, but you're there and you're meant to find a way out of the region that's known to swallow almost anyone who enters it. Will you make it out alive? Number 9. Hi-Fi Rush Originally released for Xbox Series XS and PC back in January 2023, Hi-Fi Rush has finally landed on PlayStation 5 a year later. But it has been worth the wait. And the best part is that the game came complete with all the post-launch updates that those who purchased the Xbox or PC versions had to wait for. So you get free new cosmetics and modes on top of the clever use of PS5's haptic feedback and speaker integrated in the DualSense controller. If you want a unique rhythm-based game with cartoon aesthetics, then this really is the game for you. Hi-Fi Rush has managed to capture the heart of many gamers with its heartfelt story and lovable characters. Uh, a fair warning though, the humour in the game might not be everybody's cup of tea. Number 8. Rise of Ronin the only reason why this game doesn't rank higher on our list is because in 2024, for a game that would take you approximately 20 hours to complete, 30 FPS is simply not justified. To put it in perspective, the Ghost of Tsushima map was 11 square miles, while the Rise of Ronin map is just slightly smaller at 10.4 square miles. But Ghost of Tsushima runs 60 FPS easily, while Ronin for some reason is locked at 30. An open world adventure across 19th century Japan with superb combat and a world where you have so much to do, Rise of Ronin is still a great game to play right now. The combat is slick and you have a variety of approaches to mastering it. Its main downside, like I said, is the fact that the game is quite rough from a graphics point of view, with most of the environment details you're used to in AAA games missing from this title. 7. Like a Dragon, Infinite Wealth just when you think you're done with organized crime, the Yakuza drags you back in. That's basically the story of Ichiban in the newest installment of the Like a Dragon franchise. But there is a twist. Instead of the Tokyo and Yokohama inspired locations, this time all the action happens on the sunny shores of Hawaii. What's wonderful about Hawaii is how perfectly it complements Ichiban's personality, and to some extent Yakuza as a whole. It bursts with colour, perhaps too much as the contrast might blind you during the day, and has various districts with shiny malls, surf shacks, and an azure sea you can actually swim in when you're not, you know, out there committing crimes. <laughs> if you're a fan of the series, then you know what to expect from a new Like a Dragon title. But if you're new, the game vaults between absurdity and seriousness with confidence, so you better be prepared for that. Number 6. Tekken 8 with an over-the-top story that'll see you battling it out with your devil father in space, there are a lot of incredible moments to get absorbed into in the newest installment of the Tekken series. But it's not just the story to look forward to, there's a selection of different game modes that are guaranteed to keep you hooked for hours on end. In fact, when Tekken 8 launched back in January, it got nothing but stellar reviews, which eventually resulted in it becoming one of the best-selling titles of the franchise. The only problem with it was that post-launch, developers decided to implement microtransactions, which really put a damper on all the good they've done so far with the game. Also, if you're enjoying this video so far, why not hit that like button? It really helps the channel grow. Thank you. Number 5. The Last of Us Part 2 Remastered Yes, okay, so The Last of Us Part 2 launched in 2020, so it isn't that old of a game, which would beg the question, why the need for a remastered version? I mean, the PS4 version has already received a 60fps performance update for the PS5. However, if your next question is, is this the best way to experience The Last of Us Part 2? 
then the answer is undoubtedly yes. If you haven't gotten around to it yet, this is absolutely the place to play it. An ambitious and sweeping sequel that significantly expands the world of the masterful original. The Last of Us Part 2 is an impeccably assembled stealth action game that hits like a haymaker and is hard to forget. Number 4. Prince of Persia The Lost Crown 2024 opened with a pleasant surprise as the classic and influential platforming series Prince of Persia returned as a metroidvania. The mysterious Mount Kaf is a perfect setting for an exploration-focused adventure, with biomes ranging from a royal library to dank catacombs. Combat is tight and focused, with enough depth and nuance in its parry and counter system to provide a satisfying challenge and flexible difficulty options to let players of almost any skill level feel appropriately tested. What stands out most about The Lost Crown, though, is its array of thoughtful Metroidvania choices. Subtle visual cues and smart map options make it clear that this was a labour of love from fans of the genre, and the result is a new leader in the space. Perfect for both those who grew up playing the Prince of Persia games and newer generations. Number 3. Stellar Blade Not without controversy, Stellar Blade is still a great choice if you're looking for the newest, freshest game to play on your PlayStation 5. It kind of plays like a combination of Devil May Cry, Neo Automata, and Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. Part of the controversy that I was talking about earlier concerns the main character Eve, whose costumes players have complained were censored. Basically, what they saw in the initial trailer of the game is not what they've got in terms of aesthetic. And let's be honest, sometimes it's nice to have a little bit of eye candy in a video game, even though other people can sometimes consider it to be a little bit sexist. Despite the alleged censorship, Eve's outfits continue to be ridiculous and hilarious, all while the story is played completely straight. The characters have these solemn, dead serious conversations with each other. All the while, Eve is practically naked, and with any slight movement, the game's goofy jiggle physics makes her breasts bounce around like a pair of kangaroos on a pogo stick. That's not, that's not why we're recommending it though, I swear. It's because it's a good game. 2. Helldivers 2 Helldivers 2 is a mainly online-focused multiplayer game in which you form teams of up to four soldiers and battle bugs in various brightly coloured alien locales. The big selling point here is that the action is crisp, the chaos is almost hypnotising, and of course, there's friendly fire which makes everything better. However, if you're in the mood for trolling, at least try to make it look like an accident, okay? <laughs> It's an amazing experience though, and it's also an incredible hit, with Helldivers 2 easily seeing the biggest PS5 player count rise of 2024 so far. But before we move on to the last game on our list, here are two honourable mentions. Two games that will release later this year for PS5, but we're really looking forward to nonetheless. Black Myth Wukong, which has a release date set for the 19th of August, is an action RPG that takes inspiration from Chinese mythology. And Astrobot, which will launch on the 6th of September and is said to feature six galaxies spanning over 80 levels, with planets including forests, beaches, volcanoes, and gigantic hourglasses. Okay, so in first place, number one, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. The second instalment of this Final Fantasy VII Remake trilogy is a definite must-play on PS5. It does well to build on what Final Fantasy VII Remake did so well, but that was an opener, and this is the triumphant chorus that charts a beautiful path for what the final entry will bring. What makes this particularly stand out to make Final Fantasy VII Rebirth sit on the top spot of our list is how much attention has been given to improving its side content, making it the best partner to the compelling story that so many of us know and love to see reborn in the modern age. So what game have you been enjoying the most in 2024 so far? What games are you looking forward to this year? Let us know your top choices in the comment section below. And if you want more gaming content, be sure to check out the two videos we've linked on screen. 